Match week three for the Premier League has been such a roller coaster. This unbelievable. This is testament to how unpredictable the league is, right? Uh, sorry, right. Sorry. Yes, right. not too much. Eh? <laughs> oh, that's so unpredictable about Manchester United. It's very oh, predictable. The, the thing is because uh, a lot of people are writing them off mm. before uh, the game. Yeah. Right? They are on a three-game losing streak. No, it's two game. Two game, sorry. Two game losing streak. From so, zero points. Yeah, they were expecting to be the Arsenal of last year. Yes. Right? But in the end, <laughs> in the end, not just them. The other Manchester City, the, the other Manchester team, Manchester City lah, also dropped points mm. with it's Newcastle. Fun. With Newcastle, they okay. drew uh, three all. Yep. That also because after uh, trailing uh, three, three, one. three one, three one, yeah, three one, yeah. yeah. Newcastle took the lead. Yeah, man, that's interesting. My goodness, right there, and and Leeds won Chelsea three nil. Yeah. Who will expect? Yeah, that's right. Mm. My goodness, this this a mistake, but. Uh, I, I very differ, differ that because I felt that Chelsea, right, um, it's quite similar to United in some ways. New new management, all those stuff. So I'm not too sure whether internally... New owner. Yeah, new owner. Mm. Internally, what is the changes? Mm. You know, like... Um, I think Imran, then, uh, Imran has changed. He came last week. Yeah, he came last week. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Imran. <laughs> thanks, thanks for coming down. Uh, Imran, James, to, uh, James here, James here. He may not... <laughs> He may not want to come again. <laughs> to prevent this kind of scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three nil, and the first goal is due to a mistake by the goalkeeper. Yep. And indeed. you would think that he's a very solid goalkeeper. He is a very solid keeper because of the pressing. Mm. And also red card. Red card. Mm. Mm. Who red card? Kulibali. Oh no! And the week before he scored a wonderful goal. Yes. So remember, guys, take him out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. That? Too late. Maybe yeah. after oh. he scored the goal, people bought him. Oh my god. So gosh. now he got red card, then minus okay points. Then no point. Yeah, no yeah. point. Southampton won uh, Leicester 2 1, and I think Leicester, ever since last season, has been on the down actually. The so two it teams seems like no surprise. Underwhelming mm. is, I think, West Ham and Leicester City. West Ham right now, zero points still, yeah. and bottom of the table. Bottom of the table. No longer I, Manchester United. I, I, yeah. I, actually, this, this few weeks, right, mm. the three, three games, have you realized that? So-called maintaining um, the pressure on the top is actually City and Spurs, and of course new 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 uh, boys new leader, at the block, new leader, new, leader. Uh, new kids Arsenal. on the block. So so basically new like Lawrence. Liverpool, yeah. <laughs> United. I, our team don't have thirty plus year old. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm trying to say that you know I the top six, <laughs> the top six team last season, yeah. like Liverpool, mm. United, West Ham. Mm. Yeah, they are like struggling. Um, Arsenal was picking up, maybe a bit late, at the end of the season. If not, they might overtake Spurs itself. So like the top six, three teams are not performing. No, as- well, I think you have to give respect to the mid-table teams. Teams like Newcastle, mm-hmm. uh, teams like Fulham, mm-hmm. you felt it. Mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm. Uh, teams like Brighton, which I'm really impressed yep, with. Yep, Brighton, very good football. Uh, and Brentford. Brentford, sure. Without Ericsson. Brentford. Yeah, playing. <laughs> <laughs> you felt it. <laughs> Badly. I felt, I felt, I, I felt last season. No, I, I felt, felt like ha- uh, 40, 40 minutes, 30 plus yeah. 40 minutes. Like, <laughs> Whether should I off the, the okay. game? Yeah, they why. shocked us in the first game of last, last season. Yeah, so actually, yeah. so a lot, lot of teams, teams are stepping up. They are stepping up. They are showing up. Uh, teams Exciting. like Nottingham Forest, which just promoted, and you see that they overhaul their whole team, mm. and they may have one or two more signings coming in as well before the transfer window closes. So every um, team is uh, competitive. Yes, and they are upgrading with players that who are fast, who are pressing. Yeah, you know, Leeds man. was pressing Chelsea until yeah. you know, even Kante also cannot handle. Best league in the world. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Best what? Best league in the world. <laughs> best, best league in the world, guys. Exciting yeah. as well. Exciting, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, even mid-table teams also, you know. Yeah, man. I do not know whether 30-year-old players can handle this. 36-year-old cannot. 36-year-old cannot. Yes, cannot. I uh, that's why on the bench. Lah, huh? mm. Okay. And maybe fridges. Fridges cannot handle. Why 36 cannot? Refrigerators. Yeah, lah, also. Lah. My 36-year-old players cannot make it. <laughs> we have Ch- one Chelsea also have, right? 36, uh, 37, right? Tiago, uh, Silver, is it? Who? Cool. Tiago, Tiago Silva. Tiago, no, Tiago is only no, no, 30. No. Miller. No, uh, Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Chelsea is Tiago. But he's different. He's built differently. He has this. 
his footballing brain is yeah, but you still can't concede, right? He concede, but I, I, you have to see in a way because if you see a defender's uh, decline, right? Like example, like you will say Van Dijk, Van Dijk's decline, uh, is from last season. Uh, no, I, I don't say he he declined, but I felt that need someone to pair up with him. Yeah. Later we will talk about that. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. I mean, uh, what, if let's say we take Thiago Silva in point, huh? He's a brilliant defender. He got a good partner now in Kulibali. But at the moment, I think Kulibali, uh, the way he copes with the, the the speed, he's quite fast, but he copes with the speed, right? Of, of counter attacks and all that. Uh, he's he has something to learn, uh. Same like our newness, lah. Uh. Don't hate bad people, okay? Uh, so poor hair can. <laughs> so other than that, I think he's he's still good. He's he, being an old player. Sometimes you need the experience, mm. but at the same time, they may not be able to cope with the speed and the uh, the agility, the kind of uh, the kind of muscles that sometimes the the English Premier League players are are playing with the style they play. So that's where uh, you definitely need a bit more of a footballing brain to cope. And unfortunately, not all. Maybe the problem with that. Chelsea is up front. Where they have not scored against Leeds, they scored zero goals against Leeds. Mm-hmm. Uh, which what Imran was saying, they need a striker. Yep, and they need someone to score the and goals. And I felt very <laughs> funny. You, I mean Lukaku, and Timo Werner is the main striker. You loan one out, then I think Timo was sold to, uh, back to uh, Lazic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why? You haven't get a replacement yet. You are shipping out all. Just because you bought uh, St- uh, uh, Rahim, Rahim. Mm. but Rahim is a winger. He the most can play false nine. Mm. But if you put him at out out striker, and it's not like Zizus though. I was just about to say that. Uh, it's not like Zizus because Zizus, Zizus, is, is Zizus was being pushed to play as a winger. Mm. You know they but choose wrong 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 player lah. They click the wrong yeah. They click. Uh, click Alamak, I want to Zizus. Uh, you watch too much TikTok, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I found Double that. Double tap like. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think Chelsea's biggest mistake is haven't get a replacement yet ship out their main shot. If let's say Timo Werner is still inside the team, I think the the scenario might be different because transfer window still. I think he was yeah. given a chance last season to impress. He was given he more than one season. Uh, yeah, two season, right? Two season. So yeah. he he didn't impress or he didn't fit. I okay. I have to be biased because I like. Uh, when well, uh, uh, German, yeah, not because he's German, not because he's German. I also <laughs> be biased with his defender, but we lost the team. <laughs> <laughs> no, because but McCoy yeah. is not in. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, my my girl, McCoy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes, I understand. Correct. And not only, not only in that sense, fit, uh, I think the Werner doesn't suit the style. He's yeah. a good player, definitely. He, he, yeah. he is. I feel. Like he went he back. Style. He scored, right? Yeah. yeah. But Lukaku also, uh, he wants out already, so he, there's no point keeping him. He, the thing is, there's no, no point. one believe what I say. He's not fit in the no, league. No, I believe. I, I believe you, bro. I I already I said since, since last season. Like, what no. do you mean? Only you change color. I already say. I think last season I already say that he he is not, not around. Uh. He's <laughs> not going to be fit in the Premier League. Mm. Maybe in German, you know, yeah. sl- he has the pace. Yeah. Don't mm. get me wrong. He has the pace. But against English team uh, defenders, mm. I I still feel that he's not there yet. I believe you, bro. Yeah, mm. after one season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something that you cannot mix. Uh, oil and water. Uh. I think they bought owner is just to prevent all the other clubs buying. They got him in. He's a proven player in Leipzig. So when they got him in, like, the systems that the, the manager had at that time probably cannot utilize him. His confidence just get lower. He cannot score. Nah, 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 nah. And then now he's going back to Leipzig. Why, why nobody is talking about the su- the biggest surprise in the Premier League? Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Huh? You're not surprised that Arsenal no, is, I'm not is surprised. at the top. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised you're not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, the only why, thing that I'm not surprised is Arsenal. Why? 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 No. Yeah, they they have all the link. I I felt the last part of the season, you guys are like pacing yourself. No, like, like you know, some football like the zigzag. They 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 lost. But we lost to last Crystal Palace. Yeah, they that's lost last Palace season lost though. Yeah, right, you lost because the first three games you lost the points. Yeah. If let's say you plus that three games is nine points, add on to the final tally, you are in Champions League. I'm not surprised. To be honest, I'm not surprised because they are just lack of one or two players to connect it up, and plus, 
your two main striker is a problematic one. So mm. you remove the virus, yep, yep, you yep, plug yep. in a player that wants to play well, not because of World Cup, he wants to play well and he's not very old. He's proven. Good news, Arsenal fans, uh, Pepe might be going out on loan <laughs> for the whole season. Bad news is that Arsenal will be paying part of his salary still for uh, one season. Mm. Well, better that you, you, but better you know, him out. Mm. Yeah, better him out. Better him out. Yeah. yeah. But Arsenal, to me, uh, oh, the progress uh, is there. I'm, not, I'm, I'm surprised a bit yeah. because of the momentum they have, right? Because yeah. Arsenal, the, the past few years, Arsenal has not been the team mm. that you will say their willpower is strong enough to push them through. Mm-hmm. You can never say that. Mm. Right? They have not been a team that mm. actually proves this. Mm. Uh, although last season, we have seen the fighting spirit that they can give. Yep. Mm. Except at the end of last season, they start to lose points a bit. Mm. Right? They, were, they, they were actually maintaining for Champions League then suddenly they start to yep, lose yep, uh, and then yep. Spurs took over and all that. I felt that so it that was, was a drama. Men- mental thing. And yes. physical as well. Correct. Right. So, huh? I also felt like physical, the stamina. You know, it's like yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. you push but you have that mind to go. Yeah. It's just the don't body. Have the, yeah, I don't have the it's energy. It's like Klopp, mm. he wants rock and roll football but you can't sustain, you right? Can't, you can't uh, sustain so, after I think minutes. two, two yeah. seasons, you all change a bit here and there. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, same thing that happened to us. Alternative. But because you, <laughs> alternative rock. you bought, but the, thing rock. Is, the, the thing is, you bought <laughs> Not badly, uh, kind of that few players <laughs> that become rock, uh, become rock solid. This is what I call music. Because the thing is, it's <laughs> collection. <laughs> like Ramsey, was solid in bro. Yeah. The new captain is a wonder kid. Okay, it wasn't proven in Real, but he came here. He, I think he, the new signings like Odegaard. I mean, not new signings, but the, the new players coming mm, in, mm. Odegaard, even Jesus or Zizenko, uh, they have that mentality. It's the in strength, strength in mentality that they have won titles before with Manchester City. And they can at least guide the other players and say, okay, look, when the chips are down, when you are one nil down or two nil down, mm. this is how you react. Okay, and I think that is what is lacking last season for Arsenal. Mm. When we are losing, we don't have the mental strength to, you know, keep on going. Don't we have, have the skills. Don't yeah, have leadership, we don't yeah. have the leadership. I think the mental strength is the most important. Lah, huh? Okay, but now it's good because even Zaka, Granit Zaka is playing box to box, right? Uh, you know, uh, you know. Uh, uh, I want to say. You know, Becoming predictable. Uh, predictable. For, for me. Uh, Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Huh. Uh, Arsenal is the only team with uh, 100% record Ooh. in the league at the moment. Yes. No loss yet. And, and the thing is, I think a, a good test for Arsenal is, is they can maintain this. And maintain on the way to 9th or at least 4th yeah. of September. Fun fact, <laughs> Liverpool has not won any games yet. Yes. Hey, lucky yeah, we Zero. won it. Yeah. <laughs> Zero games. <laughs> well, I mean, shout out to you. We are same. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> we are I tell you okay. when they will drop point. It's 4th of September. Wow. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, to me, like, uh, if let's say Arsenal can maintain, I will not say Arsenal is now going to be a contender or they are they are a true blue uh, top four team now. I wouldn't say so they are a force. They are, they are a force. They are right now on the move, on the move upwards. I felt that they are a force, but yeah. if you really don't see them as a contender or a challenger, it's maybe weak. 12 onwards. 10, 12 onwards. I think 10 games. And it takes one injury to Mm. one guy. Yes. One injury. Zaka. (laughs) (laughs) He would rather sacrifice Zaka. (laughs) (laughs) Today we we can predict whatever we think. (laughs) (laughs) How come you also predict? How come you can predict whatever? Because Arsenal predictable. (laughs) (laughs) But I didn't predict that they would be on top. Yeah, I don't know. That one I (laughs) surprise, surprise. But But if you watch all or nothing, Yes. <laughs> Watch All or Nothing, guys. The whole series is out. You never know. Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> the song is inside, man. Uh, vamos! <laughs> vamos! <laughs> vamos! <laughs>